Abolish CWO's contracts, unfair on the workers, hard to sustain paying rent and gas and electric and other bills and to move on. The fear of being sanctioned is so detrimental to people with mental health. The key issue nationally for me is just it's the levels of poverty and deprivation and the, the cuts um, and the impact of the cuts around sanctions and people in severe poverty, food banks, serious, serious poverty that we see locally here in Bromford every single day, the impact of, of the cuts. And it's about having a, a real answer to that um, and working with local communities to find some sort of answer to that problem. Say, what are you going to do about tackling poverty and inequality? We've got a lot of children living in our community who are going hungry. We've got a lot of families who don't have no gas and electricity. And we've got a lot of people without any aspirations because there are no real jobs out there. What would I like this government to do? Keep the promises. I would rather they came in with two or three good, genuine policies than a hundred ad hoc ones that they have no intentions of following through. I'd like a fairer society for all of us, not just the low paid, but all of us. There's a tragedy, people are starving, people are dying, people are committing suicide because of debt and poverty and hunger. And um, so, you know, we need to bring that, that spirit that came with the floods without the flood. Social justice and equality. For people to have more opportunities to have the same equal benefits as other people, i.e. in terms of being able to have that encouragement to be able to um, have the chance to save up a deposit towards a mortgage, despite whatever job you're doing. And that renting, it just becomes a no-no eventually in the future, and that everyone can own, I know it's through the bank, but they can own their own property, whether it's small, big, medium, it doesn't matter. But they have that chance to have something of their own. I'd like to see more people come off the street giving their voices. Maybe if the government thought getting somebody off the street to work with them, they might get further than what they're doing now. The one specific thing that's really affecting this area is that the amount of people with mental health situations who are going through the PIP process and are being sanctioned, uh, and, and, and it's causing real harm and and the lack of jobs and and I'd say real jobs, not agency jobs, temporary jobs, zero hour jobs, real jobs that are out there. People are being told on the job centre, you need to get a job, you need to get a job, you need to get a job. And there just aren't the jobs out there and there isn't the support to access those jobs. So whether it's education, whether it's uh, just just mentoring and support and encouragement, you know, we're, we're picking up the slack of that. Uh, locally in the community uh, at the hub and, and through the support that we offer but it's just they, they get people are getting knocked down all the time if government was to train people that have been homeless you know drug addicts um, you know these people have been through this uh, and I reckon it will be a lot more beneficial for different counties all over the country, if they all started doing it, they'd have a better chance at creating a better community. Meadowell's got a fantastic community spirit and, and it's a lovely, lovely place to live. However, um, you know, we've got lots of residents who have massive issues with bedroom tax, we have um, antisocial behaviour and education needs looking at. So, and health, of course, so that's the things that we would want the MP to be looking at and hopefully improving. To get a full understanding, if you get people that have had to work hard at life and, and get to where they're at through being where they were, that should, we can then educate the educated, so to speak, so that they can then help more people and getting it a good team together in each town, not just in one town, in each town, getting these people together, I can only see it growing and growing and growing. We have, we have significant numbers of pockets of poverty, and by that I mean serious poverty, because we are, as a county overall, 
relatively poor, but we have incredible wealth as well as poverty. So in areas of real poverty, there's a whole range of issues around unemployment, around problems with benefits, around lack of statutory provisions such as youth service provisions, and also this issue of lots of people going to food banks because um, we had a post uh, a little while ago saying you can't eat the view. So there are lots of people in these areas suffering from poverty that are attending our food banks and actually some of them are even working, which is even uh, a bigger concern. There's, there's so, so many things where you know the poor get charged and penalised for being poor. Help us. Just help us. There's um, so much sofa surfing and homelessness and there's so many empty flats in town and, and there's empty buildings that could be converted into, into flats for the homeless and, and you could even use, get the homeless to convert them and train them up at the same time. If somebody came down and came onto the estate and had a good look around they would find out that we're not a bad state and if I would like them to swap over for say maybe a week we they lived on the benefits and somebody from the state got this got their money then like see if they got sanctioned then they would know what it's like having nothing there's been a lot of uh, people who've been severely affected by austerity and there's a lot of, of anger about what that actually is and does it actually exist is it a real thing or are they just suffering for uh, somebody to fill somebody else's pockets. And I think that's a real um, issue that people are feeling. We have a lot of people who have been sanctioned. We have a lot, lot of people using food banks, um, and that's really hurting the community. I think that in the election, um, we should focus on the benefit system and the fact that people at the minute, if they miss an appointment or are late for an appointment, their benefits are sanctioned, whether they're single people, families. Um, and a benefit sanction means they've got no money to feed themselves, they have to rely on food banks and it's um, making them increasingly ill. Some people on ASA are getting told that they're not entitled to employment support allowance and they're being kicked off employment support allow allowance and being told they're fit for work. Then the doctors are telling them they're not fit for work and you know there has to be, it has, there has to be a more sensible, easier way. If they see like we can do this and we can do that to prove that they're going to do it, because it's okay in saying that they're going to do it. As soon as they get elected, that's it, they're not bothered. So we'd have to be somebody that, I would like somebody that would come on the estate and say, right then, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Then it gets done, not just forget what after they've been elected. The most important thing for me is Brexit, because uh, the main reason the election was called early, it was because of Brexit, because uh, although it was a vote to leave the European Union, but no party gave a clear-cut program as to what are you going, we going to leave, what are we going to keep. So people didn't know what we are voting for. They only knew <coughs> we are either in or out. I would like people and the parties to give a clear program. And I'm a remainder. I would like to be in the European Union, but now that the people have voted to go, I would like to have the best bits of European Union to keep, <coughs> like to be in the European Union, Economic Union, be in the Customs Union, be in the Council of Europe, especially accept their protocols on human rights and immigration, as we are signing for the UN protocols. So in, in the similar way, we can sign up for the protocols of the European Union. Why can't we? Because after all, the geography doesn't change. We are and we will be in Europe. So why not cooperate? So this is the, uh, these are the most important things for me because it is on these things that the future of this country and of every one of us will depend. What deal are we getting out of Brexit? So that's the most important thing.
I'd ask them what they were going to do with all the empty buildings that could go for homeless people and people that are struggling and going to end up homeless. I could take you for a walk through Halifax Town now and introduce you at least 20 people that are homeless or sofa surfing as such. There are people sleeping in shop bins, you know, around the back of the buildings. Talk to the general public instead of people in committees and things like that or hear it from other MPs.